Well, new at 6 o'clock, WJZ staying on top of a trend of crimes targeting the LGBTQ community. So there has been at least three incidents in just the past two weeks. The first reported crime happened two weeks ago at Light Street Presbyterian Church in Federal Hill. A neighbor caught a photo of the suspect climbing a wall to tear down the flag hanging outside the church. Hate crime charges were filed in this case. Then in Anne Arundel County, someone stole nearly a dozen LGBTQ decorations over the span of two days at the Ark and Dove Presbyterian Church. Now, police say this man stole decorations two nights ago, then came back last night to steal once again. So they shared these surveillance photos of the suspect now. And the most recent report came from St. Mark's Lutheran Church on St. Paul Street. Police say someone stole the pride flag that hung outside that church. And WJC is live. Alex Glaze is at St. Mark's tonight after speaking with church leaders about what happened. Alex. Vic and Rick, I spoke with the head of St. Mark's Lutheran Church earlier today, and she told me that she is concerned because she believes that churches that are LGBTQ plus affirming, like this church, have recently been targeted by criminals. I guess my question is why? It just makes me sad. I just don't understand why people need to pick on others. The congregation at St. Mark's Lutheran Church in North Baltimore is searching for answers after they say someone stole the pride flag that once hung outside of the church. It feels exposing. It feels um, like there's someone who's taking the time and the energy to actually make a plan to come and bring a ladder to take down our flag, which for us is a sign of our dignity and our personhood. Police say they're investigating this as a larceny, but members of the church believe this was a hate crime. Whenever a pride flag is removed in the queer community, we know what that means. Somebody had to bring their own ladder and climb up there and take it down. It's not wasn't done on a whim, it was a deliberate act. This is the latest reported act against an LGBTQ plus affirming church in Baltimore. Two weeks ago, a pride flag was destroyed outside of a church in Federal Hill. Police are investigating that incident as a hate crime, and so far, no arrests have been made. They actually had someone climb their pride flag. It was a long banner. He climbed all the way up with a knife and cut it down. Earlier this week in Odinson, police say this person on your screen stole rainbow-colored plastic hearts that were surrounding an LGBTQ plus sign outside of a church. It feels a little concerning that um, churches seem to be a target at this time, churches that are LGBTQ affirming. Back in Baltimore, the congregation at St. Mark's Lutheran Church changed the message that's on display outside of the church to send a message to the community. We wanted it to be clear right off the bat that um, it wasn't gone because we took it down and that that message, even no matter how many times the flag comes down, we're going to keep coming back and saying that we're proud of our community and we're proud of our identity. We're going to keep saying that and saying it loudly and clearly. And I'm told that the flag will be replaced. A new flag has been ordered and will be here before Pride, which is just a few weeks away. In North Baltimore, I'm Alex Lee's reporting for WJZ.